Welcome back to the agenda. So former Fedusa Secretary General Dr. Dennis George has died. To talk to us about uh, the legacy of his life, we are joined by former union leader Mr. Franz Balini. Mr. Balini, a good morning to you. Thank you so, so much for, for giving us your time this morning. I know it is evening where you are. Um, I think first things first, talk to us about uh, when this happened and how you found out about the passing of Dr. George. Uh, good evening, Western Lady, um, and the viewers uh, at home. Um, it is very sad, um, as we know, that death uh, um, is a historical phenomenon, but it's always unacceptable when it uh, visits us. Um, I got the news through a WhatsApp that um, Dr. George is no more. Um, he is a comrade, I worked with him for many, many years, and he remained a friend sharing various ideas while he has left uh, Fedusa and I left Kosat a long time ago. Uh, he kept on communicating with me with shared notes. And I would remember his fond memories about his love for his son for golf, sharing me, with me um, his activities with his son as playing golf. It's very sad that he has departed. Yeah, I think let's talk about what you view as his contribution towards uh, trade unionism, certainly in South Africa. I know, I know that um, as, a, as a leader within trade unions yourself and having spent many years in that space of so speaking for Labour, you had quite a good relationship with him and also developed a friendship. Yeah, not only a, a comrade as a leader being a friend, uh, but how I know him he was all, more, uh, always on solving, um, finding solutions to the problem. Mm. He was no, never a person who wants to stick to a problem and identify a problem and end there. He would say, France, what can we do about this? What can we do about this? And always looking at uh, beyond the problem. And that's what, how I would remember him. And hopefully those who have worked with him, those he left behind, can learn a few things from him in moving forward and never looking permanently to a rear mirror. Yeah. Talk to us about a few moments that you that you that you go back to perhaps that that you feel with at this particular moment this was the significant contribution that he made to uh, to, to speaking for Labour in South Africa. I think um, looking uh, towards uh, Netlet uh, issues. He made sure that we find one another in terms of the Labour Relations Act and various pieces um, uh, of legislation. I know uh, on a lighter moment, uh, the period, he was a very unhappy person. It was the introduction of um, uh, um, smoking legislation because he was a smoker and a non-smoker and I was very happy with the introduction um, of uh, restriction on smoking. So when we travel together and in Germany and I wanted a restaurant where there's no smoking, um, a smoking, non-smoking area and uh, Germans are not, uh, are very free smokers. And at that first, there's no bosses and Azuma here. Uh, we are going to stay here and I'm going to smoke in this part of the restaurant. He was a very lovely man. Yeah, well, thank, yeah, that's, I mean, it really is quite a story that you have to tell. I think what you think the, the lesson of his life then is for those that are still speaking and, and leading trade unions, certainly today in a time when, um, you know, inequality is still a massive issue in the country. We're going through tough economic times, jobs being shed um, constantly, even as we wait the, for the unemployment numbers to come out this afternoon. What do you think his lesson would be to trade unions today? I, I think uh, uh, I would urge trade unions um, in remembering uh, Dr. George is to deal with the issues of unemployment, is to for labor to render quality service to their members and not leaders servicing themselves. We are seeing numbers of uh, members dropping from the union and an increase of non-unionized workforce. So re in remembering uh, Dr. George, can we unite and move forward as federation across the line? Thank you very much. Yeah. Mr. Franz Balini, an absolute pleasure speaking to you and thank you so much for making time um, all the way from Australia there paying tribute to uh, Dr. Dennis George, uh, former uh, leader of FEDUSA.